All right, I love requests. This first one is about the 9750. So you're not seeing things. This is a 9750, uh, about 4950 bucks on the market. A uh, very powerful little calculator. It does basically everything the Prism does with a couple of exceptions. I mean, it doesn't have color. It doesn't have the math type looking um, answers. It doesn't have the print that looks real nice. The natural display does not have that. So other than that, this thing does a whole lot of what the other one does. And for under 50 bucks, you can't beat it. So a uh, request came in to see how some of the basics, some of the calculus basics, things like that. So let's see what this thing can do. We'll jump into the graph menu. Now you got to be careful with the graph menu because it operates in linear mode. Linear mode means everything has to appear as a line. So you have to make sure you have enough parentheses to make sure that you uh, enclose your numerators and denominators. So let's do a rational function, for example. So I'm going to have two sets of parentheses to open. The first set is to open my numerator. Second set is I'm going to separate my function into a couple of pieces here. X plus 2 parentheses uh, x minus 1 close that close it again to close the numerator I could either do over which is a fraction bar there or I could do the divide it really does not make a difference I like to think of it as a fraction so I'm going to use a fraction bar there I'm going to create a hole by putting in an x plus 2 it's going to give me a hole at negative 2 and let's put another let's put an asymptote in there um, we'll go with a 3x uh, minus 1. Close that and then close the entire denominator. Execute locks it in. Execute again draws it. There you have it. There's your function. Uh, this line is being connected, so it's connecting the top and the bottom. You can adjust whether or not your plot is connected. If I just go plot, instead of connected, it won't connect those two dots. It gives you nice dots either way. So I'm just going to go back to connected and redraw my function here. Now I know there's something funny happening at uh, negative 2. There's actually a hole there. So if you want to see something like where the hole is, you press trace, shift F1. I type in negative 2. When it jumps to negative 2, it's going to give me an error. And it's also showing uh, the derivative here. I went in here in uh, my setup and turn on the derivative. Right now the derivative is turned on, so I go toggle down. And as I toggle, the uh, soft keys change. So I want to turn on that uh, derivative because it will allow me to look at the derivative at each individual point. So if I wanted to draw the tangent I hit sh second or shift F4, which is sketch tangent. Jump around the screen, you can just press the number. I go to one. There it is at one. If you like it, if you want to see that line, for example, the uh, tangent line, press execute. Now it draws it. And it's also going to give you the equation of the tangent line, which is an added bonus feature. And it only does that because the derivatives are turned on. It also has the uh, function up here. So let me just get out. Oh, let's go with, uh, yeah, I'll get out for now. We'll go up. Let's get rid of uh, this function. We'll get rid of that. Just delete that. Are you sure? Yep. Let's type in x squared minus 4. And I'm going to type in a second function. Let's just go with x. So give me some nice intersection. There's my intersection. G solve is my graph solver. F5. All of these are one button pushers inter intersection of the two graphs I just pressed it and I have it I've got the equations I got the location what is it called what are the values if there's more than two if there's three four or five it'll find all of them if you want to find um, the integral at a certain point limits of integration let's go to uh, We'll go here and we'll just go from, I selected my parabola. There's my upper. Let's go with lower. Let's go negative 1. Typed it in. There it is. Upper and lower. 
integration total, it's negative. Remember, it subtracted that piece off, so it's actually found the total. We'll exit that part. We'll draw them again. <clears throat> we also could find maxes and mins. There's no need to say upper limit, lower limit, anything like that. You just type in the max or the min, the minimum of the x squared equation, and it will find it for you. As long as it's in the domain, it's good to go. All right, so let's see, what else can we do? Let's go into the menu. We've got an equation solver. Now the equation solver will let you solve equations. F3. X squared plus 4x. That's going to give me an imaginary solution. So let's change this. This is a function I had from earlier. X squared minus 4 equals... Uh, let's go with 16. I'm just go ahead and solve it. There's one of them. Now there's two of them. If you want to find the second one, you got to change your limits. So that's one that was positive. Let's find the other one that's um, 16. The square root of 20 plus and minus the square root of 20. So let's go that from zero for the upper limit and force it to find my negative solution. So there you go. It also has polynomial solver for higher order polynomials up to 6 degree. You just press uh, which one you want. I want to go 6 degree. Fill in your equation with all the coefficients and then press solve and it will find all the roots. Simultaneous. Again you have systems of equations up to a 6 by 6. Very powerful piece of machinery. Uh, this one also has a conic equation. You pick the conic equation, you fill it in. It's got rectangular, polar, and parametric. Again, this is under 50 bucks. Amazing piece of machine. If you've got questions on some of the other features, please feel free to uh, shoot me a message, and I'll get that out there as soon as I possibly can. But um, that's uh, the 9750, just the basic little intro on some of the calc features. Keep those uh, requests coming. Thank you.